to increase productivity, we've had to buy all these side by sides. It really saves time, you know, walking across the yard. There was a new spot opened up in OSY and I knew it was the right fit. So now I'm the health, safety, and style inspector. I don't really care for his style, but once you get somebody in a position like that, it is hard, they have an ego, and then what happens if you try to unseat them from that position? It's just a slippery slope and I don't know how to handle them. First of all, this is a five out of 10. Whose car is this? It looks like my grandpa's golf cart. It probably can't even whip shitters. Two out of 10. Hey grandma, I like that sweatshirt. That's a seven out of 10 in style points. Hey, Uncle Greg, when was the last time you shampooed that beard? That's like a two out of 10. Oh my gosh. How do you say it's safety and style? I think what we need to do is have Nomex coveralls and then sew on ripped skinny jeans on the outside of them to appease Cole. Like, I think, I don't know how else we're gonna do this. I know Brandon's trying with his hair, but it's just not like mine. So he's not as cool as me but I know he's trying, so it's still about a five out of 10. Oh, you're an one out of 10. Boom, 10 out of 10 for sure. Now that the next generation is starting to get involved at OSY, Dallas is contemplating taking a step back. There's always an evolution of a business and it takes an entrepreneur to get it started, if you will, and then Sometimes an entrepreneur can just get bored or maybe they're just lazy when it comes down to working a business every day. I think that it's probably time for me to step back at OSY between Greg and Ken and Sam and Brandon and Wynn and they don't need me. I was thinking about picking up an old hobby but also a business venture and I was gonna get back into sheep farming. I actually always picture myself to be a shepherd. I'd always just thought these sheep, they look so vulnerable and somebody needs to take care of them. And I thought that's me, I could be the guy to take care of these sheep. If you need to grow bigger, we can sell you for more dollars. It's just a little bit of oats. Yes, Betty, you like that? You want some, Tracy? You need to eat, you're not big enough. While Dallas discovers his true calling, things at OSY are running as smooth as ever. I was running a little behind, so I gave Sam a list of shit that I'm running behind on. And one was welding a bracket for a burner that I installed. So let's, uh, let's see how we did, see how we made out. How, uh, how's that gonna work? Oh, just perfect. You wanna see? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. You're doubting me again? Well, maybe well, this, let's see how this. Maybe this time I'll be right. Gotta be a first for I, uh, eh? yeah, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> oh boy. Well, can you give me half an hour? No, let's, I wanna see how it's gonna work right now. 
Okay, so you're bolting it to this I-beam, right? Yes, yeah, but I think I messed <laughs> up. Uh, what in the heck? Roughly. <laughs> yeah, roughly like this, but... Yeah, this angle iron's supposed to be like a 180. Yeah, it is, eh? Oh, there goes three hours of your day. Yeah, well, you didn't... This is not wide enough, too. Well, I didn't double check. Should have double checked, but I never did. And Ken was distracting me. Like, I'm, I'm gonna blame Mo. Like, 50% of it was Ken's fault. But, oh, there he comes. I better not say anything anymore. Yeah, Ken, I'll redo it. It's okay. I'm fine with you being mad at me sometimes. As Ken and Sam struggle to get on the same page, the shepherd is having some struggles tending to his flock. Come here, Fred. Here, Fred. F me, these f***ing sheep. F here, Fred. Here, Fred. <laughs> oh, oh, Nelly. Oh, you're cut. I bought, you know, 2,000 sheep and had them for a week and I was like, it, I can't take it, I'm done with sheep. So I sold the sheep, got that off my bucket list again and I'm back to OSY. I like work and all, but sometimes I need to have a little break. That's why I come out here and hit dingers.